Welcome, everyone. This is Diana Needham from the Small Business Success Project in Chapel Hill and the 17 Legal Ways. And I have to tell you, I am so excited today because I get to talk to the amazing Tom Corley, who's coming to our summit. And uh, he's our keynote speaker for the VIP dinner on Tuesday night, the 29th. So, Tom, I have to tell you, that I love the interview that you did with Success Magazine. Um, you know, I had dug through to find it. It was in the November issue. I've been listening to it in my car. I got your book. I read your book front to back, and I love the story. And I, I just can't wait for what you have to share with us when you're here next week. Well, uh, thanks uh, for having me on right now and, and giving me the opportunity to uh, share what I'm going to talk about, a little bit what I'm going to talk about, and some of my research with your group. Um, you know, the I, and I'm so excited about this topic, and and so when I when Earl asked me to uh, if I would uh, keynote the VIP dinner, I, I said, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put something together that's gonna be so cool that um, and so unique that everybody's gonna walk away. And I, my, my goal is to have them really thinking uh, about habits and the importance of habits. So I'm, I'm going to share with them uh, some information on why habits even matter, why, why, how, wh how do habits even impact your ability to be rich or poor, uh, to save money, to reduce your spending. There's so many facets uh, to these habits. And just just to give your your group a, a flavor for this so this is i don't know if you could see this but this is my research summary there's 325 data points that i track mm. and uh, i can i've written articles on just about each one of them there's you know i, I probably have 6 or 700 articles on my blog talking about habits and talking about how to change habits and how habits are formed and how to uh, what type of habits you need to have in life uh, and also the habits that are holding you back. And, and the interesting thing, Diana, about habits is 40 percent of all of our activities are habits, all of our daily activities. That means, you know, habits are unconscious behaviors. They're, they're, be they're below the radar. We're not aware of them. And, uh, you know, this is a, a Habits can be a really good thing because they, they kind of put you on autopilot. Uh, and, and this autopilot can be for success if you have a, a lot more good habits and bad habits. But it could be a really bad thing for uh, individuals who have bad habits. And, and that's actually most of the population. If you, if you, There was a couple of studies that I highlighted in a recent post on my blog that talk about uh, how many people are actually poor or near poverty, and it's close to 80% of the population in America is, is, you know, one paycheck away from being poor. That's frightening. And it, it, it absolutely <laughs> is, and I have to, uh, something I would share with you, Tom, and, and I know we'll have, I'm, I'm look, really looking forward to some opportunity to chat with you uh, personally next week. Uh, the, the book really helped me personally examine my own habits, right? And and you're right. I don't think that most of us consciously look at how do I spend my time? You know, what time do I get up in the morning? How much exercise am I? What 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 is what is it I'm exactly putting into my body every day? Uh, we just are not even consciously aware. So I, I want to thank you for the content because it's made a difference to me in just a couple of weeks since I read the book. And I love the stories in the book. Yeah. The, you know, the rich habits has be, become pr a pretty big hit. And, and the interesting thing about it is it's the byproduct of actually three manuscripts. Uh, the first two manuscripts I modeled after the millionaire next door, mm -hmm. which I loved Dr. Thomas Stanley's book. Yep, I have that one too. Um, but uh, someone who was was in my study, who's uh, extremely wealthy, who I sent the manuscript to, uh, sent it back to me with a copy of uh, Ogman Dino's book, The Greatest Salesman in the World. And he said, uh, throw, throw out your manuscript. This is the book you need to write. And 
I spent another eight months trying to completely transform my research uh, into a format that was consistent with uh, the greatest salesman in the world. Mm. And, and what's interesting about it is, you know, about 80 to 85 percent of the, the people that read Rich Habits, they either give me a four or five star on Amazon. But but the there's 10 percent or so that give me a one star. And they all say the same thing. Why can't your book be more like the millionaire next door? <laughs> so I, I, you know, I don't, I don't know what to do about. <laughs> what interesting. That's, a, that's interesting. This, the journey you've been on, you know, and, and you don't know this about me because we haven't really talked about this, but one of the things I do is work with authors that are writing a book tied to their business and help them get clear early in the process about a marketing strategy and who their audience is and and what the content should look like and then to actually help them launch their book so uh I, what you just said is near and dear to me there's a lot of editing and revision and rethinking and all that stuff that goes on when you're actually putting together a book i love the style of the book because you use story and you used real live examples that for uh, anybody watching this interview if you haven't read the book um, I think Tom's going to be kind enough to bring some copies when he's here on Tuesday night. We'll have some copies available. If you haven't seen the book, I highly recommend it. And uh, the stories and the examples are so real world, right? They're real people yep. going through the same experiences that uh, all of us have. And I could relate to so many of the different examples in the book. I I, I just, I loved it. Um and I can't wait to meet you in person. So, Tom, I'm going to ask you just a couple questions. I know you're really busy. So what would you say out of all of this? Uh, I'm sure that this whole journey with writing the book and uh, the, the experience being in the Success Magazine and all the speaking engagements, you've been on quite a journey through this whole process. What would you say the most important things are that you've learned about success? Well, there's no question the number one attribute or characteristic of the self-made millionaires in my study was persistence. Mm. Uh, these individuals just did not quit on their dream. They, were, they, they would opt to go bankrupt, to die, or for, to, to, divor to experience divorce before they would quit. Mm. I mean, that's how uh, obsessed they were with pursuing their dream. They were so passionate about it. They believed so much in what they were doing that they were willing to um, take enormous personal risks, not only risks with money, because there is some uh, calculated risk associated with pursuing your dream with respect to money, uh, but the time that you spend on pursuing a dream. You know, I've, I've been um, at this this is my dream, Rich Habits, to share this information. I've been at it since 2004. Uh, that's a long time to pursue something. Uh, but that's what the self-made millionaires in my study, we, they all share the same persistence mindset. So I, I would say persistence is the number one thing. What's interesting about persistence is it's a byproduct. It's not, um, I don't want to say it's something that, you inherit or you develop. It's not. Uh, persistence, real true persistence, is the byproduct of pursuing something that becomes your main purpose in life. Mm -hmm. uh, when you follow your heart and you, you pursue something that you're really passionate about, you automatically gain persistence. Uh, you just don't have uh, any choice. Where habits come in, and this is why it's so important, is habits are the infrastructure for your goals. So when you, when you pursue a dream, uh, you need to create goals around that dream. Goals are your action steps. Uh, then you want to create habits around those goals. Uh, for example, I, I have a habit of doing five things every day five specific things every day that will move my goals forward and ultimately help me realize my dream. A lot of the self-made millionaires in my study uh, automated success by first dream setting, second goal setting, 
And then third thing they did was habit formation. And that pyramid, if you look at a pyramid, uh, at the bottom is your habits. In the middle are your goals. And at the top is, is your dream. It's, it's how you get there. It, you have to create these habits around your goals. And the goals have to be created around your dream. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, the theme of our summit this this time is all about the money mountain. So I love you just you, you talked about it as a pyramid. And, you know, you can see that in a lot of our branding and a lot of our marketing for the whole event, it's all about, a you know, it's a mountain. Right. And there's a bottom, there's a middle and a top. So so I love mm -hmm. that. So, Tom, before I let you go today, what, what would you say the best advice that you could give to someone right now? Who's really looking to make more money? Well, I think um, there's a lot of things you can do, but uh, let's face it. Most of us are stuck in a job and that's our bread and butter. So what do you do? What you do is you pursue something on the side, a side business. In fact, most of the self-made millionaires in my study started out working somewhere. And they yeah. develop their business, their product, or their service as a side hobby or as a side job. And they just kept at it because they were passionate about it. And they got better. When you're passionate about something, you get better, you improve. Uh, so you got to find that thing that interests you. Uh, so that's that sounds such a like a simple 10,000 feet in the air kind of statement. So let me get down to, to uh, the, the ground here. Uh, what you need to do is every three to six months, pursue something new and different on the side. It, you know, it might be uh, learning how to write a book. It might be learning how to paint. It might, it's, it's learning, what you want to do is pursue some new skill set on the side. Now, it could be a skill set that is somewhat related to your job, uh, and it, it's a part of your job that you like. So you could have a piece of your job that you really enjoy, but the other 80% you just don't like. Well, you can focus on that 20% that you do in your job that you really like and try and create a product or a service on the side that will help you uh, eventually uh, pursue that could become a full-time uh, job down or full-time business down the road. The only way uh, really for individuals who are struggling and stuck in a job to really achieve wealth and success is you've got to do take some action on the side in the mornings at night on the weekends that's your availability uh, and you uh, just go at it and if after three to six months the thing that you're pursuing if if you just don't have the passion for it move on to the next thing and then just keep doing that eventually you're going to find something that really interests you and uh, you're going to know how do you know because you can't stop doing it. You can't mm -hmm. stop thinking about it. When you get to that point where all you think about 24 seven is that side business or that side hobby that you have, that's when you know you found your main purpose in life. And that's the thing you should be doing. That's your calling in life. Hmm. Yeah. Amazing. And you know, the same uh, principles apply now, um, Everyone coming to the summit already has a business, and uh, you know we're we're looking to grow our businesses and trying different things, uh, trying different approaches. You know, looking at different um, audiences, uh, getting out and speaking. I mean, doing a lot of uh, yeah, a lot of. I mean, that's been my journey too. I mean, it. Uh, I think it takes a while for us to really land on what we're here to do. I think it does, and and the only. The only possibility of that happening, Diana, is if you experiment. You have exactly. to experiment. Yeah, and, 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 there, and there's failure along the way. You know, a lot of us, we look at failure as a, a really a negative thing. If mm -hmm. you shift your thinking to, it, what did I learn from that? What's, what was the lesson there? What is the learning? Um, mm -hmm. You know, shame on us if we do it a second time. But, you know, what is the real learning? And, and I, you know, a lot of, we make a lot of mistakes before we finally land on what we're really here to do. So uh, thank you so much for your comments today. It's been awesome. I, I know you're really, you're really busy. We are so excited to have you come and, and join us. And I just can't wait. I just got to, I got to tell you, I can't wait. So if you're watching this um, interview and you don't yet have your tickets for the summit, 
You'll see here on the screen, we have uh, some tickets remaining for the actual summit itself, which is Wednesday, next Wednesday, September 30th. Go to http forward slash 17legalways.com slash fall dash 2015 dash summit. And I'll also have that link right under the video. Now, if you want to come here, Tom, Tom is coming as the keynote for the VIP dinner on Tuesday night. That is the only opportunity to meet him in person. And we do have just a few seats left in that VIP dinner. So if you want to come to that, please go to the link here uh, or reach out to me um, and let's figure out how we can get you a seat because this is a presentation you will not want to miss. So, Tom, thank you so much for your time today. Any, do you have any parting words for um, for our community as we get ready to hear you speak to us next week? Yeah, uh, buckle up your seatbelts because this is <laughs> going to be quite a ride. I'm going to take you on a ride that you've never been on before. Uh, you're you're going to experience some new ideas, some novel ideas. There aren't that many people talking mm -hmm. about the stuff that I'm talking about. Uh, and uh, I spent five years studying this stuff and uh, analyzing it. So uh, there's going to be a lot of information I'm going to impart on your group. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we're so excited uh, to see you next week. Again, folks, if you don't have your ticket, please go to 17legalways.com forward slash fall dash 2015 dash summit. That link will also be right underneath this video. If you're seeing this on an email from me, the link will all be there. We can't wait, Tom, to have you come join us. And folks, if you don't have your tickets, grab your tickets and um, come and join us. So you'll, it's your opportunity, actually, to meet not only Tom, but the other speakers um, and a delightful meal at the Siena Hotel, which is absolutely exquisite. Tom, you're going to love this venue that we have for, for the dinner on Tuesday night. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay, awesome. Well, have a great rest of your day, and uh, we're so excited. We'll see you on Tuesday. All right. Thank you, Diana. All, right. All right. Bye for now. Bye.